Hey guys, it's Jed here from Disrupt Tutoring and as always, it's always a pleasure to join you. We've got a relationship type question here, very similar to a sequences or a, numbers, a number patterns question, but we're using X's and Y's. So they've said to us in this first question, write down, okay, let me actually start off with this question over here. So it says complete the following table. And if we look at our table and if we try and figure out what type of sequence is here, we can see that we are consistently minusing two, okay, as we move along. So we know that this difference would also be minus two and that would then give us negative 11. Right, so that's now out the way. We can move on to the next question. They've asked us to write down the value of y in terms of x to describe the relationship between x and y in the above table. So this question is very similar to a question in number patterns where they ask you to provide the general term or provide the term, the nth term. Okay, so that's es essentially what we're doing. We're trying to find a relationship so that we can find what any y is given x. So we're going to use the exact same approach that we use when we do general terms in number patterns. What I typically do is I'm going to say, right, I've got a common difference of minus 2. So I'm going to use that common difference. And that's going to be minus 2. I'm then going to plug in my x. Okay, you'll see what I'm doing now. And then I'm going to take 1. And I'm going to plug that 1 in to the x's spot. So say, for instance, this x is now equal to 1. Minus 2 times 1 gives us minus 2. But we know when x is 1, we need to be at minus 3. So what number do I need to add or subtract in order to get to minus 3? So reminder, if we put the 1 into the x's spot, we're at minus 2. And in order to get to minus 3, we need to subtract 1. Now, in order to check that I'm correct, I'm going to put in 4 into x. So minus 2 times 4 is minus 8. Minus 1 gives us the minus 9 that we're looking for. So that way we know that we are 100% correct in terms of the relationship between x and y. Now, it's asking us to put this relationship to the test and determine the value of x if y is equal to 51. So essentially, they're asking us to form our own algebraic equation. So the way we would do this is we would put minus 51 in y's position. So minus 51 equals minus 2 x minus 1. So as you can see, we've taken this 51 and we've placed it where the y is. And now we need to try and solve for x using the rules that we typically use when we solve algebraic equations. So we need to try and get this x by itself. So we need to take this minus 1 and we need to try and shift it across to that side. How would we do that? Well, because we're minusing one, we should add one on the side. And because we are dealing with an equation where there's an equal sign in the middle, we need to add one on the left hand side as well. So after our first step, because we've added one on the left hand side, we would be at minus 50 now. And that would equal minus 2x. The next thing we would need to do is we'd need to divide both sides by negative 2. That way we would cancel out the negative 2. So I'm going to write on the right hand side first, that is going to be equal to x. And on the left hand side, because we are, sub, uh, we are dividing by minus 2, the two minuses, a minus divided by a minus gives you a plus, And the 50 divided by 2 gives you 25. So your answer there would be positive 25. Now what is the saying? It's saying that when x, according to our relationship, when x is equal to 25, y is going to be equal to negative 51. And we didn't even have to use our sequence all the way down to the 25th term. We were able to plug it into our formula and that was quite useful because it calculated exactly what y would be at that x value. That's all from me guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Very special thank you to our sponsor for making this video possible. Read up more about them in the description below. If you're keen for more videos like this, visit our website. If you can't find the answer to your question, remember you can send us your question and we will reply with a personalized video just for you. Until the next time guys, stay epic.